The Chicago Bears coaching staff continues to grow as they have now reportedly added a new quarterback coach. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So you guys know I have been covering the Bears like a blanket, okay? Giving you guys all of the latest with regards to the coaching hires as well as everything else. So all I ask you guys to do, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below, guys. Best way to support me on this channel, do that. Uh, follow me on my social media platforms and guys please i implore you hit the notification bell down below wherever it is down below hit it so you are notified every time i drop these videos i'm trying to get you guys the latest and greatest information as quickly as possible so hopefully you guys appreciate that and uh yeah support me by doing that so let's talk about this all right let's get down to it the bears are hiring andrew Janoko, and i hope i'm pronouncing his last name correctly i hope i'm doing justice to it andrew Janoko from the minnesota vikings um as their new quarterbacks coach now he was the quarterbacks coach for the vikings last season so he's taking the same position with the bears the rival bears for the vikings and let's talk about Janoko and um whether or not this is a good hire and let's start by saying this he does have ties to the offensive coordinator for the bears in luke getsy uh they actually have ties fun fact back to pitt and uh Janoko was a senior quarterback at pitt when luke getsy was a grad assistant so there are some ties there, and of course, it's a crucial hire in terms of the offensive coordinator because you're talking about the quarterback, and obviously the Chicago Bears' entire future depends on the development of their quarterback, Justin Fields. So there is a connection there with the OC. Uh, so how did he uh, do in Minnesota? Well, with the Vikings, he's been there for about seven years, since 2015, worked his way up the ranks. He's very highly regarded, folks, because the thing is, that part isn't surprising, but the part that's surprising is the fact that he's only 33 years old. So a very, very young guy, and he's very highly regarded within the Vikings organization. So you were seeing this theme here with the Bears of hiring, you know, a young staff. And again, that's not a bad thing because you get a new mentality, a new school way of thinking. But obviously the downside sometimes is the lack of experience, but he's got decent amount of experience here, right? Seven years with the Vikings and he's worked his way up the ranks all the way up to quarterbacks coach. And he's got experience on all levels of the offensive side, right? Coaching receivers, uh, coaching the offensive line. Like there's a ton of experience here. And he is very, like I mentioned, highly regarded with the Vikings. I've been reading what Vikings beat reporters what their media, what their fans are saying, and they are not happy about this, the fact that they're losing a quarterback's coach uh, to their rival bear. So this is a big plus for us, but I got to preface that by saying, let's be honest about this. He was not our number one option for the quarterback coaching position. That was Joe Brady. Joe Brady, I would have liked him as well. He went to Buffalo. Can't blame him. You get a chance to go there with that high-powered offense and Josh Allen, you do so. But let's just be honest about it. Andrew Janoko was the Bears' second choice, and Joe Brady was number one. So when Joe Brady took the job with Buffalo, turned on the Bears, we had to go out and get our second option. Even still, again, positives. Looks to be highly regarded. Looks to be a guy who's got experience on um, not just the quarterback position, but other sides as well. He's somebody who's got ties with the OC. And schematically, he looks to be a better fit, actually, than uh, Joe Brady would have been. Not to say he would be, he'll be better than Joe Brady. We actually don't know that yet. But that is what I am sensing and seeing in terms of the report. So overall, folks, the staff is coming together pretty well. Um, you know, I'll make another video highlighting all of the different uh, positions that we've hired and what's left to hire. But yeah, man, we got it down now. The quarterback coach is there. I think this is a solid hire. Again, a lot of solid moves. Nothing that's, uh, you know, hitting it out of the park. But there's always a potential for that, okay? But a lot of steady, solid hires for the Bears, and this looks to be another one. But again, keep in mind, Joe Brady was going to be the guy, but he took the Buffalo job. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, hiring for the Bears. Leave a comment down below, as always.